who gets multiple sclerosis? Are there particular profile, age groups, gender, racial differences? All of those things. <laughs> All of those things. Yeah. Anyone can get it. We've had children uh, and we've had seniors all presents with their first attack of MS. It, it, the, the typical picture uh, for in most autoimmune diseases is more women than men, and and uh, usually about two to one, and usually it's the twenties you know, to thirties for the females, maybe a little older for the males that get MS. Um, it was described uh, mostly in a Caucasian population years ago. Uh, the genetic roots of this probably can be traced back to northern Scotland and Scandinavia in particular. Uh, and then the diaspora of, of all that gene pool and where they've gone around the world, it, it's seen everywhere. They're, there's, they're in Chinese, they're in Japanese, but there are some groups that are almost, would be a rarity to see it. Uh, for instance, uh, up in Lapland in, in Finland, never been a case of multiple sclerosis described. In Canada, where I'm from, the Eskimos would rarely get it. But, but there's been so much mixing of genes over the years. So it sounds like what you're saying is that a broad swath of humanity can get MS. The genetics aren't really so specific. Uh, and it really can hit anybody. And um, let's talk a bit more about diagnosis and what MS shows up as. Because what you were describing before was a lot of different symptoms. And my understanding is that it can show up in lots of different ways. So are there symptoms that are most concerning that a person should think about, wow, I should get myself checked out. Do I have MS? Uh, I, I almost don't want to answer that question because it's just going to create such neuroses in, in, uh -huh. in people. Uh -huh. uh, but virtually any symptom neurological uh -huh. could be a, a manifestation of multiple sclerosis. Okay. Typically, uh, most patients will present when uh, the disease attacks what we call an eloquent area. So it's pretty hard to hide a, a, a plaque in your optic nerve. And that you go up. blind in one eye, ah. you're going to say, hey, hey, there's something wrong here, I can't see. Right. You're going to go see the eye doctor. Uh, when you put a plaque in the spinal cord, Usually it, it causes problems walking, you get numbness in your legs, you, you might lose bladder function. You're not going to let that go. You're usually going to seek attention for it. It doesn't happen like that. And that's important, for a distinction from, say, stroke, which does happen like that. Uh, if you have sudden onset of symptoms, this is something that uh, is more serious and then that, that's usually typical of stroke. But if they're slowly evolving, usually over days, you're looking at what we call demyelination, the de-insulation of these wires. And just like you can imagine stripping a wire that you got plugged in somewhere, it's not going to conduct as well, and it may short out initially and then maybe cut out completely. So the symptoms are wherever the nervous system is. It controls all of us. So in other words, because the underlying pathology, the cause of MS, is this autoimmune demyelination, removal of the insulation of the nerves, it could show up in any kind of system of the body, any kind of neurologic system. Pretty well. I hear that. Um, One of the ones that is subtle that people don't realize uh, is the, uh, well, are the cognitive changes. Uh -huh. and, and we, even after one episode of, say, optic neuritis where you don't see, the studies that we've done on patients who've had just a single episode indicate to us that, uh, and of course the MRI tells us they've had stuff going on long before that, um, that they're having cognitive issues that predate and uh, the onset of this, say, blindness. And at the same time, if you compared them uh, cognitively to an age match control and even educated match control, uh, they don't do as well. So you can have uh, a presentation in a young adult of dementia. And, and, and MS should be in the differential.